Hey guys, Sharpshin1 here with another scripting tutorial for Roblox. So, today what we're going to be, uh, what I'm going to be teaching you about, are um, changing the brick color, which is like changing the color of a brick. Um, we teach you about for loops and while loops. So let's go ahead and open up Roblox Studio. And then wait for it to load. And then after everything loads and shows up, let's go to another base plate. So after your base plate loads and everything's ready, good and going, let's go ahead and start up a script. Alright, um, actually I'm going to make the font size a bit bigger for you guys so you can see it e more easily. So let's go down... Let's change that to maybe 20. Yeah. Alright, it looks kind of big for me, but maybe it'll be good for you guys. It's too big, I'll change it back next time. Okay, so first I guess we should talk about brick colors. That's probably the most attractive thing right now. Um, so first let's make a part. Alright, with the... Uh, with the variable part. So let's make it equal instance dot new let's be part put it in the workspace alright so we're going to make it anchored part and then part dot position it's vector 3 dot new and then let's do 0 100 0 alright so I described these things bef in the last tutorial uh, party students that new is going to create a part in the workspace. It's going to disable gravity for the part, and I'm setting the position to 100 studs in the air and zero in zero. All right, so let's go on to brick color. All right, so in case you haven't figured it out already, brick color is the color of the brick. So let's show an example right here. All right now, this part's brick color is dark stone gray, so we can change it to all these different colors, and so. Just gonna keep it right here for now. So right now, its part, its color is smoky gray. So to change it, to change the brick color, we're using a script. We're gonna type in the part that we're referencing to, which is part. Um, then you type in brick color equals brick color dot new. This is how you um, reference. This is how you change it to a specific brick color, right? So you might not know what the brick color is called. So the way you can do this is click on base plate. There's a brick color thing right here. And then choose a brick color from this thing right here. You can view what it's going to look like in here so you can see which one you want. I think we should do... Let's do this cool... Nice forest green right here, right? So the name of the, of the color is forest green. So type that in exactly in quotation marks. Let's type in forest green. I see this. Yep, that's correct. Alright, so I'm going to change this one back to smoky gray because I. Oof. Or just do fossil, who cares? Alright, so let's play this script here. And then, see, it created this part here that uh, coordinates and it's anchored. And then it changed its brick color. Alright. So, that did that correctly. So maybe you want a random brick color, right? So all you do is do part dot brick color equals brick color dot random. Very simple. So we can press play. So you chose a random color, which is, let's see, what did it choose? It, choose, it chose really red. So let's start it again. And it chose a different color this time, I believe. Yep, it showed lilac this time. So that's how you do a random brick color. And so that's just about everything you need to know about brick colors. Very simple. Um, not hard to use. So now let's go on to for loops, alright? Okay, so a for loop is a loop where it will repeat is the block of code that it is given. A given amount of times. So, 
uh, I'll be able to explain it a little better after I write out our for loop. Alright, so here's how you make a for loop, alright? So you type in the word for, you give it a variable, which we're just going to do x right now, since it's a pretty common variable. Then you equals 1, which is where it's going to start. And then now you type in the amount of times you want to repeat itself. So for now, let's just do 20. After that, you type in the word do. Press enter, then you should have this end thing right here. So, <coughs> so it'll repeat itself 20 times, and so we can type in what we want it to say a given amount of times. So let's do a wait command. Let's make a wait half a second. I will make it print. Hello, viewers. All right, so it'll say hello viewers 20 times. Let's actually do it 10, so it won't print as much. It'll say this every half a second. So in case you haven't figured it out already, the wait command will pause the script, the amount of seconds you specified in here, and then it'll go on to the next thing. All right. So let's do that. Press play, and then it'll do that. See, right here, it's doing hello viewers, and it's doing it. Tw it's gonna go through it ten times. All right, so we got that. Let's do stop. <coughs> So that's one example you could do with a for loop. Um, you d it doesn't have to be like, you know, just printing. It could be like creating a brick. All right, so let's do that. So p equals instance instance dot new. Let's create a part in the workspace. All right. So p dot anchored equals true. P dot position equals vector three dot new five 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 all right and yeah so because of the way I've programmed it I believe they will stack on top of each other let's try it out yep see and every second is creating a new brick and it's stacking on top of each other so ten times so we that's ten bricks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yep ten bricks right there so it doesn't have to be just printing and stuff, it can be anything. So that's pretty much a for loop, fairly simple. So now let's move on to a while loop, alright? So a while loop is very similar to a for loop, alright? So instead of a for a while loop repeating itself a given amount of times, it will repeat for infinity, unless you give it kind of like an if statement. So let's make give it a loop that will print itself um forever, infinity. So all you do is type in while true do. I do like that little end thing at the end of it. All right. So you give it the, what you want to do right here. But if, but I must warn you though, when you do a while true do loop, you have to put some kind of wait command in there. Um, if you want to make it go through the loop very quickly, then do 0 0.01. That is the lowest amount of time it can pause in Roblox. If you go any lower than that, it'll just default to this. All right. So you have to put a, a wait. Uh, command in there. The reason why you must do this is because if you don't, when you play it, it will freeze Roblox Studio. It'll like, it'll crash pretty much. And if you do it in a game, in a server script like I am now, it could crash the whole server, thus making it so no one will be able to play on that server. So we got that. So let's make it print stuff in the output. Let's say, oops, sorry about that. So let's make it print. Um, Please like and subscribe. All right, so we're actually not gonna do that much. I don't want to repeat itself that much. Let's do zero point eight seconds. All right, so let's do that. So it's printing in there. See, I'll zoom in for you. See, please like and subscribe. It'll go on like that for forever. So to show that it's still going, I'll do something there so you can diff, like, say something. See, see, oops. see it's, still, it's still going, in case you can see it. So let's stop this script. Go in there. And you could do the same thing. Like, you could do, um, oh, you could create parts. You could do a part two. It's part equals instance. I'm not going to go through it because I showed you. But you could do the same thing I did in the for loop, all right? So that's how you do while loops and for loops. They're very simple concepts. Oh, wait. One more thing. So, so you don't always have to do while true do. You could do something like while x equals 5, like we did before. Right, let's do end. So let's define the variable x equals 5. 
So this will make it go through the loop. Um, is so what this will do is as long as x is equal to five, it will repeat the code that we're doing here. So let's do wait one second. All right, and then we're going to um, make a brick part equals instant dot new part workspace part dot position equals vector three dot new five 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 part dot in equals true. Alright, so every what as long as x is equal to five, um <coughs> it'll create a part every one second. So let's do that. Alright, see? It's really a bunch of different parts right here. Every, it's doing it every second. Come on, let's change this. It's getting spunning into much other stuff. Yep, black. That'll make other things stand out more. Alright. Mm -hmm. So, that's wild true loops and for loops and brick colors. P pretty simple concepts. So, let's combine everything we did into a script that will make the, a brick change color. Alright, this will be pretty cool. So let's make a part instance dot oops instance dot new part workspace sometimes I mess up on that right, workspace and then part dot anchored equals true and then part dot position equals um vector three dot new and we'll make it zero, one hundred, zero. And so we're gonna assign it a random brick color equals brick color dot random. So we'll choose a random brick color. It'll assign it to that. So let's make actually make x equal zero. So to give like to do like the if statement in the for loop, we will do for Actually, let's get rid of this x thing right here, and we'll just make an x variable in here. x equals 1 through 10 do. Alright, so also, you can use this x variable in a for loop um, inside its code. Alright, so like, um, let's make it wait 1. Let's do 0 0.3 to make things go quicker. So we're going to make it print x. X will st will ca so right so we're in this for loop, what it will X will do is it'll count up starting at one and ending at ten. All right, so let's print that. See, it's doing that right there. Stopped at ten. So we got that. That's the little explanation right there. So what we're going to do is that we're going to, um, we're Let's see. Okay. So actually, yeah, we're going to make this equal i, and we're going to make a variable called x is going to equal 0. Alright? So every time it goes through this loop, we're going to make increase x by 1. Alright? So what we're going to do is after that, if x equals 10, then... If x equals 10, then loop equals true. We're going to make another variable called loop. We're going to make it equal false, alright? So what we're going to do is while loop equals equals true. I remember when you do two equal signs, um, equals symbols, that means that it is checking the, v the value. So it's checking if this value e is equal to true. Alright, so while loop equals true, do, we're going to make it wait 0 0.001, and we are going to make the brick, the brick change its color to rain a brick color, alright? This will be really cool. Equals brick color dot random. Alright, so let's play this. Okay, so let's play. There's only a brick color. I have to wait a couple seconds for it to get to 10. Alright, there you go. See? 
it is changing colors very quickly. All right, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? See, like as you can see in properties, the the color is just going crazy. You cannot even see what it says. You could change it, but then you know it'll change. It'll keep changing. Very cool. You could do that, like you know, maybe to attract people to a certain point in your game. I don't know. There's something fun to do. Example. Just another little example. What I could do, and because it's a wild true loop, it will go on for as long as loop is equal to true. We could change in this loop. We can make it equal false if we wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. All right, so that was all I have to teach you guys for now. Um, I taught you how to use how to change brick color, how to use for loops, and how to use while loops. Thank you guys for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Sharp 2-1 out.